Back to another video. So let's talk about some of the best stocks to buy for August 2020. Now, these are some high growth stocks, my favorite stocks. A bunch of news just came in for a lot of these stocks, and you guys will definitely like it. It's like a whole, you know, variety pack. You know, there's ETFs, there's like different stocks, there's tech stocks, there's EVs. Four of my favorite stocks for August 2020 that you guys should definitely buy no matter what. It's high growth. And these are relatively safe as well. Now, before we get started, definitely check out Webull. Make a brokerage account using the link description below. And then deposit $100 after you make your brokerage to get two free stocks. It's literally free money. Also, my Discord and also my second channel links are also in the description. They're completely free, so definitely check it out. So that's about it. Let's jump right into it. So the first stock here is going to be Workhorse. Now, this is WKHS. A lot of you guys probably have heard this before. It's up 456% in the past three months. It was literally a penny stock until recently. Everyone was getting really crazy about the whole EV hype thing. So right now, there's about 120 for thousands of you guys actually owning workhorse stock you clearly see workhorse has been going up nice and steadily it reached all the way up to the pinnacle of 21 dollars and 61 cents and then it took a fat dump and right now it's 15 dollars and 70 cents now i'm not gonna lie workhorse actually fared much better than the other ev companies out there especially a lot of ev company th companies that did go up but they dumped extremely hard workhorse is actually maintaining a price tag of 15 to 16 dollars because guess what the vehicles that they make do justify the $1.62 billion valuation. If you check out what Workhorse is, they pretty much make the last model logistic vehicles. So we all know that Nikola Motors, Hylion, and also Tesla, they're making these giant semi-trucks that are like electric or hydrogen powered. And these giant semi-trucks, they go from one city to the next city, and they dock in these major trucking facilities. Now, for the goods to actually be delivered to your doorstep, you're not going to be seeing a giant semi truck in your neighborhood running around because those are way too big and they disturb like a lot of residents and also it's some of the streets are way too small for semi trucks so what do they do they usually dock them into these like smaller fedex vehicles these bread looking vans and then these guys that get the packages and you can see right here they're fully electric which is pretty awesome and they're also integrated with your phone not really sure why everything has to be with your smartphone but it really does make things easier it's 100 percent electric a very good design and it's pretty nice you can connect it with your phone and these are the electric versions of the last mile logistic vehicles now you guys probably have been seeing a large influx of fedex trucks ups trucks outside in your neighborhood for example ups has been having extremely good earnings because obviously everyone seems to be ordering whole foods and also buying things from amazon so ups delivers and those cars these those like delivery vans they use gasoline and they cost a lot of money to run so these electric vans are honestly the future they're doing really well some really big news is keep in mind that workhorse is already cranking out these vehicles now the ceo even said like they're deciding to crank about a few hundred vehicles every single year they want to keep up the production it's not like if people don't want these cars a lot of people want the cars, but they're still trying to crank it out. You can see back in 2018, UPS placed its order for 950 of these delivery vehicles. 2020, they receive another 20 of the C1000, which is their bigger cars. And then DHL is ordering fleets. It's pretty big. Everyone knows that to really survive in the futures of the logistic industry, you have to transition from gasoline to electric. And if you check out another really big news that came out this weekend and everyone is talking about it is Ryder is offering workhorse electric step van. This is pretty big, especially how it could actually go on Ryder's site and could actually rent one of these electric vehicles. This is pretty big and I really like how workhorse is working with other major companies for a lot of these deals. And of course, if you guys care about ARK Invest and also Kathy Wood, they actually just purchased a bunch of workhorse stock. So that is a pretty big deal. If you check out this Twitter video right here, you can clearly see this is literally the c-series van leaving the factory they have a factory cranking out cars unlike a lot of electric vehicle companies that's only talk they only have a couple cars they don't have a factory workhorse has a factory and workhorse also owns 10 percent of lordstown motors which is also making their own electric truck they own 10 percent of that which is really big like this truck even though it does look like a giant burrito or like a taco bell shaped car it's fully electric it's pretty nice it has a low floor panel design pretty sure this van can actually race your like nissan race car whatever it is and probably still win
And that's about it for Workhorse. It's a really big buy right now, especially how it's only hovering at $15 and the market cap is only $1.6 billion. If a bunch of logistic vehicles are ordering this Workhorse brand car, it's going to absolutely explode. Another really big stock is going to be ARK Innovation ETF. This is ARK. Now, so far, it has been plateauing because a lot of the companies that I own aren't really growing, but I really do feel like if you hold it for a long term, it's going to be really good. Keep in mind that this is an active ETF, meaning that if they see a stock that it's not performing well or they feel like a company in their portfolio for RK is not going to be growing in the near future, they will kick them out and place with a new one. It's an active ETF, so they actively manage it. They buy stuff, they sell stuff on a constant basis. This is why the stock is doing pretty good. When you invest in ARK K ETF, you're essentially investing in a team of people that is managing this portfolio for you. So it's honestly pretty cool. Keep in mind the expenses for ARK Innovation ETF is pretty high due to the fact that there are a lot of people doing the services. Once again, it's active ETFs, so they mess around a lot. So what's inside of this? So it's about almost 10% simply Tesla stock, and then you got Square, and then you got the other ones that you probably know like Photo Lab, Zillow, and Roku. Now if we look at an even deeper look, you clearly see that they do have a lot of other bigger companies. Now these are pretty much like the really innovative ETFs and stocks. Keep in mind that Kathy Wood is doing a pretty good job at picking the best stocks out there. Just to give you guys a quick little outlook, she pretty much bought Tesla at $200 and said Tesla was going to a few thousand dollars when back then everyone just simply laughed at her. So, so far you can see there's a lot of the typical meme stocks and stuff like that. So you guys want like maybe someone to manage your money. If you guys have like $8,000, $10,000, but you don't know what to buy, honestly, buy the RK Innovative ETF. This is probably the best bet due to the fact that it is once again, actively managed. You're pretty much investing in a whole team of people that will be managing your money. So that's pretty cool. It's kind of like giving your money to like a broker and they do everything for you. So this is honestly ETF and they do pay like very little amount of dividends. I guess it's like pennies for a gumball every once in a while, but that's about it. Next up is Condi Technologies. This one is a little bit whack since the five year chart is pretty bad looking, but there are some major catalysts that makes Condi Technologies super appealing. So, so far Condi Technology you clearly see, it's not really doing so hot. Like the one week chart, it hit all the way to $14, $17, now it's $7. But I feel like it has flattened out so if we see more news about Condi Technologies, the stock should be going up, especially the market cap is extremely low. So what's going on with Condi Technologies? So this is pretty much like an EV company, but this isn't really like the EV car that could definitely take your girl on a date. I mean, these cars are extremely small and they're mostly used for work from point A to point B. But the thing is these Condi automobiles from China will be launching sales in August and there's a virtual event and will kick off pre-sales. This is pretty big. Now keep in mind that these vehicles obviously don't look the best. Like if you really want a good looking EV vehicle, you might as well go for the Model 3. It's like $40,000. But there is one advantage for getting one of these Condi vehicles is because they're dirt cheap. After the tax incentives, the $20,000 dollar price tag becomes a $13,000 price tag. So pretty much you could buy three of these vehicles for the price of one Tesla Model 3. And hopefully I did that math right. You kind of get the idea. It's pretty good. And since you have so many people buying this vehicle simply because it's so cheap, in China, a lot of these vehicles are being used as taxis because they're so affordable to buy. And keep in mind that a lot of people in major cities that they don't want to ride a bus, they don't want to ride a subway, but work isn't really far away, so they don't really want to walk, run, or bike because that gets you really sweaty and nasty to work. They just get like a nice, simple electric vehicle like this for maybe $13,000. Charging it takes like a couple bucks. You know, it's very simple, very low maintenance compared to the combustion cars out there. So you kind of want to buy this. A lot of people really like Condi because they make super dirt cheap electric vehicles that are super low maintenance. When you buy it, that's it. You could pretty much do like a five year loan. You're literally just paying like a hundred to $200 every single month. It's dirt cheap. That's why people like it. And since this is launching in the USA, if they report really good sales, the stock of Condi could definitely go from $7 to $10, $14 because right now electric cars is the hype right now. Last but not least is Apple. So I've been talking about Apple for quite some time. I really like the overall company. It's one of those stocks that probably will never dip. Even though it's at $1.84 trillion, it honestly might be a $3 trillion company, especially with all the retro and also amazing tech, all this concept tech that's coming out. So pretty much retail traders make up 25% of the stock market according to Citadel Securities. So what does this mean? 
So Apple is doing a four for one stock split. What does this mean? So Apple is at $400 right now. It will be split into four parts. So after the stock split, each Apple stock will be worth $100. If you have one Apple stock right now at $400, it'll be four Apple stocks, each one being $100. What does this mean? That means the retail trader could definitely start buying it. You could clearly see Apple, the amount of people that own this stock is absolutely exploding. And a lot of brokerages do not allow you to do fractional shares. So if Apple being $100 a share, so many retail traders will be gobbling up the Apple stock. On top of that, you will be having this incredible stock split that Apple doesn't do all the time. And then you got all these different products and the Apple ecosystem is so strong. They're coming out the iPhone 12 5G version this year. The Apple Glass is coming out 2022. There's a new iOS system coming out. There's the iPhone 11 Pro, which is absolutely stunning, and I did crack the back glass, which is pretty unfortunate. And then you got all these different models. The Apple ecosystem is really good. I could go on and on about Apple, but long story short, Apple is going to the streaming service, the financial service. They're improving the hardware business, and they're going to the software and development business. So this is really big, and their wearable department is extremely strong, and Siri and also iOS is improving every single month. So yeah, Apple is a really good company and even Warren Buffett said, if I could own 100% Apple, I would. So these are pretty much my four stock picks out there. I really do feel like Workhorse has a lot of growth potential in August. So definitely keep your eyes out there. Of all of them, this one's probably the safest one, especially how it's actively managed. And then you got Condé Technologies, which is the riskiest one. But if you want some really high returns, then this is probably a stock to go for, especially how their car is launching the USA. And then Apple is another one I really love. This is another really safe one that pays pretty decent dividends as well. So definitely check out Apple. That's about it.